Over the next eight weeks, we'll follow three sisters through a journey of fitness, health, and self-love. Week three started out amazing. I was feeling so good. I started feeling better. I wasn't as sick. So I felt like I could just conquer conquer the week. So it was a good start to the week, we'll say that. The week prior, I had my first one-on-one -on -one with Miguel and I was sick. So I think we maybe did 30 minutes of very low, strenuous workout. Like something I probably could have done. I was sweating within my first like couple bicep curls. So that was a write-off. And then knowing we were coming into the second one-on-one -on -one and I had Katie, I was like, I'm ready to kick some ass. Like I'm feeling better. I've got my energy good. Like I just wanted, I want to go all out. I went all out and I pulled my back. We, like we just did our warm ups, I think. Um, we went into basically going down for deadlifts and I did 10 reps of 65 pounds. And it was hard, but it wasn't like, oh my God, like I can't do this, right? So Katie's like, do you think you can go a little bit heavier? I'm like, yeah, like I, I think I can. So let's try it. Like I'm, I want to do these. Like deadlifts get me really excited and really pumped. So she, her and Jolyn put, I think, 10 and 10 more on it. And I went in for one rep and then about maybe halfway down, my whole back ceased. Like everything. I felt numb, like it was super scary. And I just dropped the weight and Jolyn's like, uh, put the camera down, like everything kind of just stopped. And yeah, my, I don't even know how to explain the feeling. I'm sure many of you can relate to this, but um, yeah, it was just sharp shooting pains all the way down my back. And I, I know my mom's had issues with sciatic and all that stuff, but I've definitely taken for granted the gym. And I've never really been hurt, right? And I've been here a year and a half and you know, you tweak your back a little bit, but the next day you're fine. This is like, it happened Friday afternoon, it's Sunday afternoon now, and I feel like it just happened. So I felt after that all happened, just we're halfway into this. We're, where, what am I now? Like, what do I do now? I can't bend, I can't, how am I gonna do class next week? Um, I'm screwed. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Um, I don't want to get emotional this episode, so just give me a second. I'm gonna wipe these away here. Um, that was discouraging. Um, I know it's a common accident that happens, so I know that I'll get better. Um, but it's well, where do I go from here, right? So it's not knowing. This is my first injury. Most people will be like, "It'll be fine. Give it a week. You'll be good." Just a little bit of physio or something like that. For me, it's like feels like the end of the world, right? So. It's trusting in the fact that it will go away um, and now to be extra, extra cautious on when I'm doing deadlifts again, even though it might take me a little bit to want to do it again. And this is going to be the first step in you learning how to, to deal with something like this because it is scary and it does, you know, this is an unknown for you and that can be one of the scariest things that you can exactly. kind of deal like with. Pure panic. This is like, okay, I actually did something wrong. I'm not just sore from the workout two days ago, right? Like this is like the pain was instant. So. And this is also an opportunity to see how you come out of this, right? Like, you, yeah, you have a choice. You could 100% be like, I'm done. I got hurt. I don't ever want to feel like this again. I don't ever want to risk. I'm, I'm not, I'm done with the gym. This isn't me. I'm over it, right? Yeah. That's a very easy and a lot of people, you know, would that. take that option 100%. And nobody would judge you. We wouldn't be mad at you. You know, that's your choice. But I feel like you would be disappointed. Totally. Right? That's not It'd something that you'd be thing happy I can with. Add to the list that I didn't conquer. So, and that's what we're trying to work through here is don't do that. Like, know that you're worthy. That seems to be our motto mm -hmm. with Danielle's little videos here. But yeah, it's true. My week was good. It was, uh, I had my one-on-one -on -one with Katie. It was really fun. So we did the deadlifts. I did 135 pounds, which was heavier than the week before, which I was super happy about. I think I did 10 of them. Go keep those shoulders back. Let those legs do the work. Last one. All the way up. Good, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, and down. Awesome. And then we did um, the barbell squats. I like that it was structured with three exercises. It was just like, we focused on my on my like lower half basically because I didn't do a leg day that week either, but I did it on purpose because <laughs> my one on one was on a Friday, so I figured might as well not go to class because I figured we were gonna do something that was leg driven when we were doing our one on one. 
So doing more strength exercises has made me, well, made me feel stronger, to be honest with you. I, it, I realized that I can do things that I didn't really feel like I could do. Like I did not think I could deadlift 135 pounds. The challenge that you gave me was to talk nicely about myself and not follow it with a negative, <laughs> which I did quite well this week, honestly. I, I've noticed, I think I, um, something happened this week and it, I was like right there to like say something like positive and then I was right there to say a negative and I caught myself when I did it. And I was like, nope, Katie would tell me not to do this. Not that you need to tell me what to do, but I was just like, I remembered what it was. So yeah, it was good. I noticed that when I look at myself, I'm trying to focus on only the positive. Well, not only the positives, but what I find as the positives on it on my body because that's what it is it's not really I know I'm a great like I know my insides are amazing <laughs> I know I'm this great person but it's more the physical aspect of it like oh my arms or my this or my leg my legs um, but yeah I was just trying to focus on the good parts of them I even tried last week was a good week for me um, made it to four workouts so I was pretty happy with that um, yeah every week it seems to be getting a little bit better for me so I'm happy with that so this week I had my workout with Miguel, um, and we started, we did legs because I had done my shoulders and triceps and biceps, um, and we did, for the first time ever, I had done barbell squats. Um, that was, it was hard. Um, he worked me up to it with my weights, but I felt super empowered. Like that workout for me was, it always seems to be that way. I mean, any workout I have is that way, but when I'm one-on-one -on -one with Miguel, I feel like I'm just really, able to, I don't know, just be me, like do me that day, you know, when I'm in that workout. So anyways, that was super empowering. Like I never thought I could do it. Like I'm looking at those barbells thinking like, no way, Miguel. Lots of squats that day. And then he made me do walking lunges, like the entire, entire room. And that I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, he told me it was one of his non, he hates that workout, but I was like, oh, whatever, it's walking lunges. Well, just like halfway through that workout, I was, like just like the drips of sweat were like falling on the floor and I was like, I cannot do this. But every step was just one more step to get to the end. And he's so helpful to get me there, right? It was just, yeah, it was kind of an emotional way of doing that. Cause I was like, like just two more steps per leg and I, I did it. So it was, that was amazing. So at the end of it, you know, we, we stopped that and we had a little chat and I just kind of felt like, you know, I left here again and messaged you, Katie, and was like, I just feel so empowered. And I actually like left here and went in the car and had a little bit of a, a like a little bit of a cry because I was just like, wow, like I, because envisioning that and knowing that, you know, I'm pushing through that was just so, um, I don't know, the big, biggest word for me is just empowering. So I don't know any other word to use that makes me feel like that's what it was. But I left being like, yes, like, you know, I was able to kind of push some of those demons. And I think that's what the biggest thing for me right now is just doing that. It's just pushing through my, my, like every week, even my husband's like, every week you just seem like you're like, maybe, I mean, obviously you want to see a lot of change in your body, but he says just your mental game lately has just been like totally different. Like just how I hold myself and people that, people are seeing it a little bit more and I've only been doing this three weeks. So, you know, the other day I wore an outfit and they were like, oh, you know, you're so, and I was like, oh, and of course I'm always like, Really? Well, I don't, and they're like, no, like take that and, and, and hold on to like the little compliments and stuff, right? So I'm, it's still work in progress, but I'm, I'm remembering that every time I kind of feel down on myself, I'm like, you know, like, you know, one extra step. Like every time I show up to the gym, every time I think about what I'm going to eat, like I'm trying to be as conscious as I can. The guy from work that we know, he came up to me. He was leaving work, actually leaving our work. and. He turned around for some reason. I was coming down the stairs and he came up to me and he tries to give me a hug. He's like, can I give you a hug? And I'm like, and I'm hugging him, but not even thinking about we are driven at that moment. And he's hugging me and then as he's hugging me, he's like, I'm just so proud of you. Like you're so vulnerable. And I'm like, and I'm still hugging him, but I'm still thinking, okay, that's cool. Like what, what is, what's going on? And then he's like, and then he kind of steps away and he looks at me he's like, you're driven, like your, your thing you're doing. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, thanks. Like, Christina, honestly, out of any of the girls, I mean, I love all of them and it's all great. He's like, but you, because we've had discussions about my struggles. So to have him come up to me and just give me that little bit of support was like huge. So he left and I was, he's like, I'm cheering you guys on. And like, cause he's part of our art city tile crew too. So he's amazing. And yeah, it was just, it gave me that sense of like the first person that's outside of my circle to actually come up and be like, 
you know. And Danielle said he had also given Danielle like a kudos kind of thing, like good job. But in the middle of work, it's hard to do that. But we just had like a separate moment. And um, yeah, so just the amount of people and the text messages and family that have seen it. And so as much as it was so, 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 so scary, um, I think it's kind of given you that sense of like, like even if the people are negative out there, that's what we're all worried about, all three of us girls. Um, the positive definitely is outweighing that right now. So I'm just hoping that you can just inspire everybody who's saying like, you're inspiring me and that just gives you that sense, like it pulls at the heartstring. It's like, yeah, that's what I hope because it's not out there for, I mean, yes, I'm out there for me, but I hope in my journey, I am helping someone else. And that's kind of where I'm, you know, you always hope for that, right? As we know, you yes. do not know progress lies no, no. as far as your weight's concerned. What if we show you this and nothing's changed or you've gone up? Um, 